Yeah, when I was the only woman at the table, so I worked in government and I never felt at those tables, and maybe I was junior enough that, you know, I, I knew that my, my voice did not carry that much sway anyways. And then I worked in politics, and in politics I felt that my voice was being heard and I could be, even though it was a really male-dominated environment, my voice was being carried. It's only when I went into the corporate world that I really started feeling and I found myself in meetings where someone else would just reiterate what I just said and take the point. And it took a male mentor eventually to say to me, Kim, you need to repeat, you need to hold these, these gentlemen to account and find a way discreetly and with, you know, with some tact to say, thank you so much for reiterate, reiterating what I just said. I'm glad you agree with my suggestion. How will we implement? So there's ways of doing it. And uh, I would also say, if you're the only woman at the table, you need to speak up early. And you need to, and sometimes you may feel uh, intimidated, you may feel that you don't have all the information, and that the question uh, that you're thinking about asking is incomplete, or is this a good question? I would say just ask it. And ask clarifying questions at first, and I've seen too many times conversations with girlfriends um, and even myself where you're going to say something and then you doubt it and then the hour passes by, the meeting is done and you've been a spectator. Don't be a spectator, be a participant.